Hello guys, today we're going to go over really quickly how to do a uh, comparison video with a screen swipe where you swipe from one to the other. If you notice here, I have a boom mic that is actually a light. We have another light and uh, we took those out in post. Now when, when you take a lot of things out in post, you don't want to just jump from one shot to the other. Here, let me see if I can show you that. So if you jump from one to the other, you'll end up seeing where the holes are, where the patches are, and it doesn't look as cool and sleek. But if you swipe it, the eye can't see where the holes were. You know, it fills in everything, everything makes sense. So, how do you make this in Premiere only without doing After Effects? Uh, it's actually really, really easy. So we have our two clips here. They're synced up, and uh, one is the fixed version, one is not. And we'll put them on one on top of the other. Uh, we have the one on top, that is the unfixed, and we're going to find in our effects, we're going to find crop. All right, okay. So we have our section here, we have crop. So we're gonna play through it for a little bit because you want the audience to see the crappy stuff before. We're gonna pause, we're gonna click on our left, we're gonna see where that is, and then we're gonna play. So we've created a bullet point, we've created, we've been able to see where our crop borders are by clicking this. Go ahead and show you again. See where our crop borders are. We've made a bullet point. We're just going to push play and we're going to stop right about there. That's about where we want it to swipe to go all the way over. So we'll come over here and we'll just take that swipe, crop it all the way over. So what we've done is, is we've made a crop. If we hide the bottom layer, you'll see that we've just cropped that top video. Zip. That's all we've done. And then we'll put a bullet point here, and we'll put one here, and we'll say, hey, we're going to bring it back. And we'll play it for a little bit. We'll say, hey, right here again, and right there. Boom. And if you take your time, you can make these more fluid. I mean, you can have them like come in and scroll and bounce and go like this and all that jazz, but we're not going to take the time right now because I'm just showing you how to do it. So, after we have this, we'll turn back on our bottom layer. See that? Now, if we just play this, it looks kind of stupid, because swiping from the other, from one to the other, and we doesn't really give the impression. You can kind of see where the holes are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects, and we're going to look for drop. Try and drop shadow. I'm going to change the color to something i get people's attention. How about a nice orange this time? Like that. I usually use yellow. But we'll go to a place. Let's see right there. We want to see it. We have to change the direction. If we can't see it, we're going to play with the direction. Boom. See it? Popped up right there. Let's hide the bottom one. See, all it's doing is drop shadowing on top. See, that's the line. So if we actually increase the distance, that to increase the softness if you want, the opacity, you want it to see through like that. I don't. Let's give it a solid line. Now you see how that, there's a little bit of a gap there. I believe if we play with our direction, we should be able to fix that. Yep, just like that. So what we end up with is a nice swipe. Whew. I'll come back. Ooh, oh, look at that. Needs to be rendered to play smoothly. But that is how you do it on Premiere without using After Effects.